Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video I've wanted to film since I started my YouTube channel. I've been down the rabbit hole of watching these videos multiple times. I have cried multiple times and today I'm finally filming it and I'm so excited. Today I'm gonna let you guys know how I found out I was pregnant and how I told my husband I was pregnant. So, sorry if I get out of breath. I am 39 weeks pregnant. It is Wednesday. I'll be 40 weeks pregnant on Saturday this week. So, sorry if you hear my dogs in the background pitter patter, but they won't leave my side. They know something is up. And I have my phone out because I have kind of like a timeline of when things happened. Today is August 5th, 2020. It is actually me and Kevin's third wedding anniversary. And I thought, what a perfect day to film this video. I'm gonna take it back to November of this past year, 2019. So November 30th is when Kevin and I decided to get a new dog. So those of you who know who have been following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, I will put my Instagram tag down right here um, so you can follow me. I upload like every single day, I'm like, I just blow up Insta stories every day. So if you wanna know what I'm doing every day, just shameless plug, follow me on Instagram. Anyways, November 30th is when we decided to get a golden retriever. So we got Brody um, because our dog, Sydney, our blue healer, just seemed kinda lonely. And we wanted to expand our little family. <laughs> Little did we know. So November 30th, I'll insert a couple clips here of when we got Brody. Me and my sister ended up going and picking him up. So November 30th, we picked up our dog, Brody. And then we introduced them. It was wonderful. It was like <laughs> two days later, I look on my app and mind you, I've I've been tracking my cycles for years. I was on hormonal birth control for almost 11 years. So since I was about like 14, 15, ever since I got my period, because my menstrual, my menstrual cramps were so bad, I was prescribed 800 milligram ibuprofen at such a young age. And my mom and dad were both like, this isn't good for my, ch for, I mean, you're a kid at that point. So they decided to put me on birth control. So fast forward, until about like three years ago, I just wanted to get off birth control. And then I started tracking my periods with the Clue app. And every single cycle, I was very fortunate for my cycles to be regular. So my cycle started between day 29 and day 31. It was like, I could count on my hand, like how many times my period went to 31 days. In home health, I'm on the road all day. So on my way home, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go pick up a birth control test. It was day 32 of not having a period. And I'm like, I've never gone 32 days. I've gone 31, like a handful of times. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up a test. So I pick up just like a box of tests. And I was just like, I can't just go pick up like a box of tests because of course Kevin knows how expensive um, or how much pregnancy test costs. So I was like, okay, I gotta get like some dry shampoo. I picked up like some like trail mix and some snacks for myself. So it was like, I spent like 30 something dollars instead of like, it was like what, 10 to $15. He would have known what I've picked up from Walgreens. Like what else do you pick up from Walgreens for like $15, just being real. Anyways, I came home, Kevin gets home at like 4.57, okay, on the dot. And I get home, and I'll insert this clip here. I peed on the stick at like 3.53, okay? So I knew he was literally going to come in the door at any minute. And then, yeah, <laughs> I'll have you guys watch this clip here. Um, so it's the 3rd of December. I filmed this before when I thought I was pregnant. This doesn't feel real. I'm not pregnant. Oh my God. Like I literally have no emotion right now. Kevin's literally gonna be here any minute. But I think, <laughs> I think 
think I'm pregnant. You guys can tell the little, can you see that faint line? Right there. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm like laughing because this doesn't feel real. I've watched YouTube videos and stuff of this and I can't tell him tonight. Oh my God, we literally just got a puppy. Brody. It's not like, it's not a solid line. But it's there. I mean, you can see it in the light there. <sighs> this isn't real. I literally thought, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to take another test. I have two more. I need to know for sure. I'm like shaking. We're like, no, we're ready to have kids right now. We just started a business. And we're in a tiny house. Oh my God. I'm gonna take another test tomorrow. After that, complete denial. I was like, I'm not pregnant. That line is so faint. But I've taken so many pregnancy tests before in the past thinking that we were pregnant. There was no line. Like, obviously the first line was there, but there was no second line. And this line, I'll pop up a picture here of the pee stick. Uh, the line was so faint, but I'm like, it's so faint, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how much denial you're in when you pee on a stick and you see that second line and you're like, that's not real, it's not real. I'm not pregnant. I'm not, there's no way I'm pregnant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, indeed I was. So that night I did not tell Kevin. We, he came home literally three minutes after I stopped recording that video, got myself like composed and we actually went out to Mod Pizza and we had dinner. And I remember sitting at the table and I was like, I felt hot, like I just felt like I was just like, oh my, I think, I think I am. I think I am pregnant, but I couldn't tell him because in my mind, I, I always wanted to tell my husband in a special way. Um, I didn't want him just to walk in from work, just exhausted and you, you know how you are when you get home from work. You're just like, you're not mentally there. You're just ready to like take a shower and take your shoes off and I don't know. There's Well, there's no perfect time to tell your husband you're pregnant, let's just say that. <laughs> so, came back from dinner and everything. We went to bed that night, still didn't tell him. We woke up, I woke up the next day, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pee. First morning pee, I'm gonna pee on the stick, fresh pee, and the line was darker. I'll insert the image here. I, knew I was pregnant. <laughs> That's when it hit me. It took for me to sleep on it over the night and to see a second P t P positive pee test. I actually called my friend Chelsea because uh, she, she has a daughter and I said, hey, I think I'm pregnant. And I was, I lost it. And I think me losing it and breaking down and crying really made it real for me. Um, I had to work that day. It was so hard. It was so hard to work. I felt nauseous, and I think just because of the just the nerves, because I knew I had to tell Kevin that night. Um, and Kevin and I, we weren't trying to have a kid. <laughs> like we're, Kevin and I, we weren't trying to get pregnant, but we weren't really preventing it. Um, we've always known we want kids, and we just figured that it would happen when it's gonna happen. So we kind of like trusted in the universe at that point. Um, but it was still very much a surprise to us. I took a pee test the next morning. I'll insert a clip here of my reaction to that. <laughs> so I just wanted to do like a little update video from yesterday. Um, 
Kevin got home, we ended up going out to go get dinner. And after taking that test, I just was in total disbelief. Um, like I was thinking about it last night, but I wasn't like, oh, I'm pregnant. This morning I woke up and I took another test. That's, that's two lines. And I, <sighs> I instantly just, I lost it. Kevin and I, we're not planning to have kids, but we're not really like trying to prevent it right now either, but I'm just really overwhelmed. I've always wanted to be a mom. <laughs> and I called one of my girlfriends who has a who has a daughter and I, I was just like, I need to talk to someone, anyone. Because Kevin's at work right now. And I texted her a picture of the test and she said, that's positive, you're pregnant. It's so weird because I just, I don't feel pregnant. I honestly... I've just been like tired this week. I've been falling asleep on the couch, but I've just contributed that to having a puppy um, and waking up four times in the middle of the night to take him outside. Um, I just contributed to that. I just don't feel pregnant. It's weird. It's weird to say. I'm scared. Um, but yeah, I just made a doctor's appointment. Um, Today is Wednesday, the appointment's on Monday, so I think once I hear it from the doctor, it's gonna feel like really real, especially when we get a due date, which freaks me out. <sighs> but I wanted to make this video because I've watched these videos and I think it's just, it's just kind of beautiful to see just like the raw emotions of people when they do find out they're pregnant. So, I'm gonna go, it's like 9 o'clock now, my first patient is until like 10.30, so I think I'm gonna go get like a little onesie or like a pair of shoes or something at like Target, and um, Kevin's gonna be home for a little bit between work and band practice tonight, so I think I'm just gonna like lay it out like on her bed and just like have him like go into her bedroom. For something to ask him to grab something and he'll see it so yeah I'm gonna try to get that on video but yeah this is weird okay I'm gonna go now bye when I was on lunch that day the day after I peed on the first stick I went to Target and I bought a couple binkies and a couple onesies and we have a letter board. I'll insert a couple of pictures here. And I laid it out on her bed and I put the letters, hi dad. And I was in the bedroom and Kevin came home from work and he, I asked him for his help for something and he walked in and he saw that on the bed. I'm not gonna insert the whole clip, but I'll insert like a little second snippet of the clip. It was very emotional when he saw it. Of course, he was shocked. I was still shocked. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was such a just moment of pure happiness and it's like, oh, I'm gonna start crying. All I wanna say is, that, oh gosh, I am really emotional. Throughout, throughout this whole experience, a lot has happened in the world and it hasn't been easy being pregnant um, with everything that's been going on and with it being my first, well, our first pregnancy. I'm just really thankful that we have such a good support system, friends, family, loved ones have supported us um, throughout this whole journey and <sighs> wow Whew. I think I'm just so emotional because this has been such I mean it's been nine months like you're pregnant for a full nine months but you're really pregnant for like ten months <laughs> is what they don't tell you <laughs> so I mean we got a dog we got a puppy because we wanted 
to have a little family. And then two days later, I found out I was pregnant. And, you know, things happened in our, our video wedding business. It kind of just, it didn't happen this summer. And Kevin's goal was to go full time with video, with our company, with Pacific Nomad. And, you know, unfortunately that didn't happen this year and we've had a lot of obstacles and hurdles and a lot of hard decisions to make, but we know in our hearts that this is the right time to have our daughter and we're so excited. Um, I am crying again. Oh my gosh, I am so emotional. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. It's a very surreal experience. And I just want to tell you if you're, if you just found out you're pregnant or you, you know, you want to get pregnant and you're watching this video, my advice to you is just enjoy every single step of the way. Because when I found out I was pregnant, I was literally four weeks. And I was so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till I'm 13 weeks because you're out of that like possible miscarry stage. And that, you know, until then it's kind of nerve wracking. And then you're like, I can't wait till I get a little bump. I can't wait till I, you know, feel the first tick kick, you know, then it's gonna feel real. I can't wait, Brody. <laughs> and then you're like, I can't wait for the ultrasound because then it's gonna feel real. Like then it's gonna feel real. Like it's always a, the next thing. And my advice is like, I'm f almost 40 weeks and it still doesn't feel real. I have the bassinet. I have her ultrasound pictures hanging up in my living room. Um, I very much so know that there's a human inside me because I feel it. Um, but just enjoy every, every stage of the pregnancy and no pregnancy is the same. You know, I'm very thankful that I've had a pretty easy pregnancy. I've been able to still work out, exercise, and move my body the way, not as intensely as pre-pregnancy, but I am still able to move my body. I had some rib pain in the beginning um, because I had a, I had like a, a rib that was out of place. That lasted probably all of second trimester, but I've been okay since then, but it's just a wild road. Really, really wild. So I might as well show you um, since we're here. So you saw pictures of Brody. So I'll, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how big he is now. Brody, come here. Also, I'm trying to squeeze into this romper. <laughs> and this is Brodles. He, this is how big he is now. He is as old as how far along I am, which I think is funny. So I'm like nine months and he's nine months. So I know this isn't like the most flattering outfit, but you know, I just want to wear whatever is comfortable. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. And so thank you for watching this video and <laughs> I'll see you next time guys. Bye.